Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. It's terrific you could all join us today for another episode of Art and John's Vlog. Uh, vlog. Here we are again, vlogging. Wow. <laughs> yes. Wow. It's no longer illegal to vlog. I, so it's really nice that uh, we've been I think liberated. we're old enough. Yeah. We're old enough we can vlog uh, without permission. Yes. So, John, what shall we vlog about today? Uh, well, don't vlog me with all of that uh, pressure, Art. Uh, um, I think it's important for people to know that Celebrating Act Two, while we're known for our 10 um, very uh, nationally recognized expert contributors, uh, all 10 of very basic different subjects, yeah. while we're known for that, that's not what we're all about. We're all about helping people enjoy every aspect of life, and that involves meeting people telling their stories who are not regular contributors. Right. Um, and in, so, in, yeah. In fact, in fact, some of our regular contributors, uh, uh, we we refer to them uh, when we're talking about them as one-offs. That'd be it's an interesting story, probably. If we never speak to them again on air, it's just that one activity that they did that made them uh, uh, worthy of a wonderful second act that we wanted to share to inspire others that forget about what you think. There are lots of things you can do and just start up even as a, in your 50s and 60s and beyond. Uh, so, yeah, John, why don't we talk about, uh, we, we just recently had three people who fit that category who are fascinating. Yep. Yeah. Yep, and we'll probably we'll probably um, premiere those videos in uh, after the first of the year in January and February. So, yeah, instance, but the nice thing is they the nice thing is they live forever. Once they're up there, you can always go back and say, "Do you see something?" About That's right. This, That's right. This so you can go. Gal? For instance, for instance, uh, you remember uh, two years ago, your Tai Chi coach Vince McCullough. Mm -hmm. You introduced me to him. We did a nice video. That's up there for two years uh, or I don't know yeah and anyway he's passed on mm. he, he died at 90 is that 90. right uh, about a month after so, his 90th birthday yeah yeah so I mean that video is up there and it's a wonderful interview um, he gives great information good perspective and he's uh, he's a fascinating personality right. so um, that's a, kind of an example of uh, somebody we Never went back and really interviewed a second time or third yeah. time. Um, our re our regular uh, experts, boy, we play them every ten days. So, John Mariani, you're going to see him two or three times a month. Uh, Sarah Surrett, Doctor Liz, uh, Debbie Weiss, the Debbie uh, Weiss. The, the she's Hunter a Widow. recent. She she started out to be one of the one offs, and she was so fascinating. Right. That uh, right. we we've now done another five or six uh, uh, with her, and we've got more scheduled still because she's just absolutely fascinating about she, the. She's got a lot to say, doesn't she? Right. Well, she's been through as she calls it the cesspool of uh, middle age dating, uh, which she unfortunately <laughs> got to because her her childhood sweetheart, her husband of thirty years, uh, 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 passed away uh, yeah. from cancer, and then she was thrown back into. Well, I get what she refers to. So it's, it's, it's important information uh, to people who are uh, going through similar things. And she just sure. explains it and, and talks about it so well. So we, we've got uh, and we're constantly looking for interesting people, whether it's one off or a potential uh, contributor. Right. Let's see. Uh, we have a, a, a newscaster who has a fascinating background in newscasting and baseball. Bob Bro. Yeah, Bob Brill. Uh, it turned out to be an author. He said, I, I, what I found fascinating here, he's a newscaster, 40-year mm -hmm. career in news and journalism on radio, and he's a baseball card expert as well, and he's right. made a career out of that, a side career. Right. So it, the, the, our one-off interviews are just fascinating people. They all have something we can learn uh, from them. But Dave, Sam, Dave Samuel's on on uh, uh, on retirement. I will call it in general retirement income, but uh, talks about 
uh, it's never too late to start and, and the difference between just going to a brokerage house and a fiduciary and things that are important right. uh, and, and some things that we had never known before that added to our base of knowledge, even though we've been at that game yeah. for a while. And then a fascinating... And you're talking about Dave Samuels. Dave Samuels. And, uh, and he's, the, uh, he's the CIO, I think is the initials of Corinthian Wealth Management in the right. Bay Area. Just the um, chief, been a financial chief in, planner. He's a co-founder, but his particular job is he's the chief investment officer, which That's means that he, he figures out what to do with... Uh, where to invest the money. So uh... yeah, now that's now Dave's an interesting case because um, while he's kind of a one-time interview, mm. we're going to end up doing uh, sometime in the future. We're going to end up doing half a dozen uh, videos with him, kind of covering all those bases, breaking down financial planning into mm -hmm. five or six videos. So he's not going to be a regular. Not going to see him for the whole year. Uh, but those five or six videos will be up there, um, and they're, of course, everything we do is timeless. We don't do um, material that's going to only be applicable for the next two weeks or two months. Right. Um, so his advice will be will be very valuable, I think. But you're right. We we do wherever we find them, and I guess the question is, who's next? We don't know. Mm. <laughs> maybe 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 it'll be you. You, you, you're the one. You, you audience person. Yes. So, uh, but uh, actually, seriously, if you know somebody uh, who has an interesting story, uh, something that they're doing in their second act, uh, right. or plan or, or working on doing, uh, we'd like to find a gymnast. Uh, actually, I go visit, uh, I'm going to talk to perhaps, I don't think they're old enough yet, but they are. Uh, my uh, granddaughter does gymnastics, and uh, she goes like three or four days a week. And I oftentimes will pick her up at the end of the day. And there's a group of about four or five adults. Uh, some of them look like they're in the 50s or 60s, but some people who really? do gymnastics for the first time. And wouldn't that be fascinating to find yeah. maybe somebody who gave it up in college and then they went off and did another career and now they're getting back. It's like the people who had a garage band. Uh, yeah. Which we did. We did an interview uh, of the uh, 88s, Super 88s, yep. what they called? The Delta, yep. the Delta 88s Delta after Oldsmobile. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, they all had different professions. One was HVAC installer, another one was a legal assistant, another one was a fire captain. And they yep. all got together and they make beautiful music together. Yeah. Uh, so they, they play the blues. It's a blues band. I love them. Right. Yeah. So, so anyway. Good point, Art, and that is if you know of anybody that uh, has a great second act, interesting story, maybe something the rest of us can learn from, a little, uh, little good advice, some good examples, give us a call, email us, let us know. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.